Good afternoon, YouTube. Saturday, Saturday morning, and a uh, gorgeous day out, and just wrapping up this project. So this boat came to me about four days ago. A buddy of mine's boat, he's got a few of them. They use this one here as a duck boat, smaller fishing boat when they don't want to put the bigger ones in and, and whatnot, but bought it. <clears throat> um, needed a ton of work, whoever had it before him. Just uh, a lot of stuff was a mess, wiring um, and just other miscellaneous stuff. So started out with, we did a full gut, gutted all the wiring out of the boat. Somebody who wired it was a uh, probably a, an electrician, used a bunch of house wire and um, <clears throat> Romex and wire nuts and whatever. So basically what we started out with was uh, Gutted all the lighting off of the trailer. There were wires wrapped around all these poles. Lights were beat up. So did a whole complete new light kit on it. Ran the wires inside of the tubing. Um, brought everything down in. Everything's tucked away through a chase on the frame. All new harness, all new lighting. So that got the uh, trailer squared away. One of the nice things about this new LED kit is you notice that blue wire in there that is a dedicated reverse light wire so the trailer also has um, reverse lights and um, replaced the broken running lights on it so everything new on that went through the trailer bearings pulled the hubs apart all new bearings seals bearing buddies dust caps um, Driver side fender was all beat up bent up because they'd been using a ratchet strap on it to hold the boat down so Welded some hoops on the frame out of chain link <clears throat> Brand new strap just to secure it normally I most boats are secured in the back to the trailer somewhere in this area, but This one hangs past the trailer a little bit and there's not really a great tie down spot. So Got that squared away for them went through the motor um, did a compression check on it first and 125 a cylinder which is great um, made sure the everything was cleaned up on it degreased working had to replace some well put replace the bolts through the transom silicone the old hose he did a motor swap from a four stroke to a two, two stroke the pivot pin on the motor was sheared off ended up having to uh, drill it out drill the bung out from this side and recap it put it in so now the pivot lock works on the motor pulled the fuel tank cleaned it washed it all out got fresh fuel in it took a crappy battery out of it put in a lithium it's got a circuit breaker um, for the trolling motor everything is in a rubber hose chase keep everything from getting chafed or pulled or beat up so this is all squared away nice clean new battery cables made out of four gauge um, the starter was hanging up so degreased that cleaned it up got it to engage properly then uh new six gauge cable running all the way up to the front of the boat i asked him if he was against putting in chases for all the wiring um especially using it as a duck boat they've got a couple of guys in the boat plus a couple of dogs tromping around um, nice to have everything kind of contained and safe. So regular gray electrical conduit <clears throat> strapped to the side of the boat, pop riveted in. Definitely well above the water line before anybody starts asking about holes in the boat. So dedicated six gauge cable running up, feeding the trolling motor, tucks in, rest of it's bundled up inside, zip tied, secured, and uh, just basically straightened out everything on it. He had some front running lights in it that were wired up with some trailer lighting that's all new um there's the end of the chase right there and you'll notice this little if i can focus this little bundle of wires right here that is a 10 gauge red and black that is tucked away um and will reach basically the the center of the front of the boat if he wants to put a graph in it it's already wired for it so did all that how to modify they give you this this bracket here from the factory um, and it was beat up wasn't really long enough so um, made an, uh, kind of an extension for it out of aluminum to accept this new 
six switch panel, volt gauge, USB charger, um, lighter plug charger. So everything goes to that now. Everything's got a dedicated switch. Um, put LED lighting in it. So when they get in the water before sun up, they can kind of see what they're doing. And put a foam floor in it with just EVA foam, which I did in my boat and I love. And he had a stack of it around, so it just got cut, fit, and it's in with contact cement. Easy to get out if you ever want to, but it won't blow out and it won't move and whatever. And then a little tether on the kill switch, just because he's known for losing stuff. And um, he may want to replace it with a cable, but just a piece of masonry string, which is usually pretty strong and knotted and piece of heat shrink as a keeper. So this has been the last four days. Cleaned it all up, pressure washed it, threw the trailer, threw the boat, rewired. Um, I think he's coming to pick it up tomorrow morning. Old battery, bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Um, prop on it is cracked. It had a, a pretty good bend in it, and it was. We looked at it. We were going to straighten it out, and um, it had a crack in it. So he's got a new one of those coming, and built him just a piece of one-inch doweling pull cord as a backup pull start for the motor in case he ever needs it. And there'll be a handful of things in the gun box, just you know, fire extinguisher and that handle and plug wrench, new plugs in it, rewired uh, this back running light plug, front running lights rewired. Like I said, cleaned out the fuel system. It's got about a half a tank of premix in it right now. And at some point, probably in the next couple of days, we're gonna go ahead and throw this motor in a garbage can full of water and fire it up, make sure the water pump's working and um and all that before it gets put in the water so quick four day four day project four days and change um did most of the prep and everything waiting for parts to come in and the trailer work and all that so another one out the door now we're about to 